So, have you always lived in Wilburn? No. no. What brought you to Wilburn? Uh, it's down the street from where I did grow up, <laughs> which did, was Norcross. <laughs> which was Norcross, okay. Um, how did your family end up living in Norcross? Um, school systems. When I got old enough to go to school, my parents moved from DeKalb because okay. they wanted a better school. Nice. Can you tell me a little bit about the house that, or the home that you live in now? Is it a house, apartment, what style of house? It's a split level a house. Um, it's on almost an acre. It has a new kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's built in 69. Um, and it's in a really cute little old neighborhood where there's a lot of families so the kids can run around and have lots of friends. And who all, li who all lives in the house with you? Uh, my partner, Dylan, my two kids, 15 and 10 years old, and then currently uh, another friend of mine is transitioning living with me. Okay. And have you invested in solar energy on your rooftop of your home no. or any property part of your business or utility? No. And is there a reason why not? Um, I haven't. I want to. I just haven't had the chance to save up the money and look into it to do it. And do you have um, do you have a homeowners association? Yes, but it's optional. Do you think that that would be something that might prevent you no. from it? They wouldn't care no. at all? Because it's optional. What do you mean by optional? It's not forced. Like older neighborhoods, they have homeowners associations, but you don't have to buy into it. Okay. So you don't have to follow the rules. <laughs> so can can you go in and out of it, or is yeah. it oh, okay? Yeah, like year by year. It. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you buy into it. Every, you not have to pay the dues every year, and if you don't pay the dues, you're just not in it. Okay. Yeah. What if it were available? Would you want solar? Yes. What um. What conditions would be necessary for an order or in order for you to invest in it? I would need to <clears throat> the money. I mean. There's not really a condition that needs to be in place. I just need to I need to be told how much it is. I need to be told that all the trees in my yard won't hinder its use. Yeah. <laughs> I just need someone to come out to like talk to me about it and give me a plan. And if it's something that's like, oh, you have to have twenty thousand dollars, well then give me a minute, let me save up. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So do you see have you been in contact with any companies? Because no. like, you know people go around but I I don't know if they do that first. No, I haven't. Nobody's come around for that. It's all roofing, just yeah. regular roofing and windows. But no, I, I. That's the other thing. Like it, when I first started thinking about it, it was so new that it's like I don't even know if that's. I don't even. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Right. Looking for yes. a reputable, credible company to do it. You know. Yeah. So right now you feel like it's a decision that you've made consciously not to have it. Like I know, like yeah, only because there were other things that I needed yeah. done, like the new kitchen had to happen, so that took precedent over something like that. But now that the kitchen's done, I would be in a position where, again, if somebody, I hadn't thought about that, like, you know, I do need a new project. <laughs> something else to save up for, so that would be something I'd be interested in. Again, I just don't know who to, where to begin right. looking for someone. What kind of reasons do you have for wanting it? Um, climate change. Uh, would like to reduce our uh, fossil fuels, like personally in our house, demonstrate that to the children. Uh, it would, my understanding is it will um, help with my bills. That's always nice. So yeah, like, and then never mind when I go to sell in another 10, 15 years, hopefully that will add the value to my house too. Right. Yeah, so. So what we're going to do now is talk about solar adoption in general, and I'm going to provide you with a map of the United States. And what you're going to do is mark the areas, as many or as few as you think or want, that you think um, use the most rooftop solar on their homes. I want to say that, but I know they have a lot of clouds. I know there's got to be something. I mean, I need your honest opinion. Yeah, I know there's got to be something. That's all I feel comfortable marking. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell me which states you marked and why you chose them? Washington, Oregon, California. I chose them because they're in the West and they're way more progressive and into things like that. And then Nevada, Arizona, and New Mexico because they have a lot of sun. Okay. And um, what makes those communities and the states that you've chosen different from the one that you live in? Beca um, well, one, we are very much a red southern state that uh, I feel potentially fights it more, I could be wrong, um, than 
these states. These states are more used to having like the climate change happening to them, like the water shortages. So they seem more ahead of the curve as far as like trying to find solutions so that they don't have to. And then, yeah, with the states in the desert, they have sun. So you think that they're being like direct damage that impacts them kind of influences their attitude towards it yes okay what uh why do you think that georgia being a red state i just don't have a perception of our state being inclined to if if solar is actually really affordable and it could be a good business then i could see it getting big here but i don't see georgia atlanta maybe in the metro Atlanta area, but not the rest of Georgia, um, caring. <laughs> and, and what do you think about, the, um, why do you think those political views influence whether they care about how basic energy, basically? Um, because typically uh, Republicans don't necessarily believe in climate change, so they're not as concerned about it as Democrats, which the most is few of the states I picked are mostly blue, so that's why. So Georgia would be more inclined if it was more business friendly. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we're going to basically do the same thing, but with the map of Georgia. And again, as many are as few as you see fit. That's called. Thank you, Lars. Let's see, Athens. That's all I'm comfortable with. <laughs> okay, and again, um, what's your reasoning behind the areas? That the exact you chose? same reasons. I, I could see, again, in the metro Atlanta area, and even in Athens, the college the town, um, these are areas that seem more progressive in having concern about climate change, whereas, like, down south, even though they probably would have wonderful ability to, you know, an open space to have solar. I don't know that they're thinking about it or as concerned about it. The idea of climate change. Yeah, because you would think that, like, it'd probably be really useful for, like, farming and right. agriculture. But, but if it's I not know people cheap, are taking advantage of it. Right. If it's not business-friendly yet, then they're not... I don't... It would surprise me if you told me. <laughs> they actually <laughs> use it. I'd be like, wow. <laughs> yeah, so it's not out yet, but we on our website we are developing like a way to search and see where mm -hmm. people have solar. And yeah. it's like, from what I've seen so far, it's like a really cool tool. Yeah. It's, yeah. But, um, yeah, so what, um, did you circle Gwinnett? I thought so. That's Gwinnett. So, um... Why do you think people in Gwinnett um, would use solar energy? The same reason, you know, just like this whole area, Gwinnett, all of them, you know, it is got more, it's kind of a 50-50 shot, so you have people who would be more, less inclined to care because, you know, it's not necessarily business friendly, but it's also becoming more diverse and affluent and people are getting more progressive as far as thinking about climate change so I could see I don't know if it's being used a lot here but I could see there being a lot of people like me who would like to do it we just need it to be a little bit more accessible affordable yeah so do you think that the you mentioned politics a lot that that outweighs it for a lot of people who don't, who associate it with progress, like progressive, it seems so. more important than the economic cost or benefit. It seems so, because it seems like they don't, they don't care. They don't really, they're not concerned about it economically because they don't even necessarily see solar as something necessary. Right. Okay. And um, do you know anyone in Georgia or elsewhere that has solar on their home? No, but there is a neighborhood down the street from mine where there's a couple of houses where they do have solar panels. Oh, really? Yeah. That's neat. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to go check that. Yeah, it's on Lester. Okay. Yeah, like right when you, if you're going down from the neighborhood and you take a left on Lester, it's like the neighborhood, one of the first neighborhoods right there on the right. And it's like right at the beginning of the neighborhood, there's like a house or two that's got solar panels on it. How do they look? Um, it took me a minute to realize, they were, I thought they were windows. Oh, okay. Like, I thought they were just, like, big skylights, you know, and it took just driving by a little, maybe even Dylan had to be like, those are solar panels, and I was like, oh! <laughs> and they, they positioned them, and they don't cover the whole, 
Right. Roof, and I don't know how old. They have to be kind of old because I know I've seen them. I mean, I've lived in the house 10 years, and I don't think I've seen them for 10 years, but at least five or six. Mm -hmm. um, but they, So I don't know if they're old, but they have them positioned, and, you know, so it looks more decorative. So it doesn't cover the whole thing, and it looks like a little triangle. You know, so they, like, made it, they tried to make it look, you know, decorative and tasteful, you yeah. know. So, but yeah, like, it's pretty cool. <laughs> but uh, other than that, you don't know anyone no. in Georgia or period? No. Is there anything else you want to say? I don't understand that. Like I said, if somebody came along and they were like, hey, Why didn't you, tell me? you know, we're a good company and we'll give it to you and it's this much, I'd be like, is this good for six months? <laughs> yeah, I wonder why because I, I had done some research and heard about like the Jimmy Carter program of yeah. the solar panels, so it would seem like starting from there that it would become over time right more accessible but it seemed like it had kind of a maybe he's working more in south georgia because that's where he's from like he lives down there so maybe he's trying yeah maybe he's trying down there because it would like you said it would make way more sense for them to get on it yeah you know out in, you know their fields have solar panels so maybe he's trying to do that because i'd heard about that too even when he was president oh i didn't know about that yeah he was um I think that's what it was. He was, he was a big and advocate Makes sense. for the environment. So, yeah. I don't know. You just think that over time it would become. The messaging is really good on the other side. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Walker was screaming today about how adults are screwing up the environment and they don't want to do anything about it. And I was, because I have a bunch of Kroger bags yeah. in my car to <laughs> shove into Kroger when I go. And he was like, the public just throw it away. And I was like, at least let me have the illusion that I'm trying to do something okay. Like, I realize, but like, it's a box specifically for the Kroger bags. I yeah. want to assume. He just started going off about adults. And I was just like, hey, I've been doing what I can. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh no, I know, I'm sorry. And it's just like, it's sad because I know we, I used to feel like that too. Like, oh, you don't even care what you're leaving for me. And it's like, crap, I'm turning to that one. And I would like to. I just, you know, I voted for Marta. <laughs> <laughs> Will you talk a I little tried. bit about what that was? The Marta? Yeah. Um, they were trying to do a tax and to bring, to expand Marta into Gwinnett to bring some light rail, maybe uh, some heavy rail and get more buses going around so that, you know, they could make mass transit more accessible in Gwinnett County. And it probably failed because it was going to take like 30 to 50 years for it to actually like happen. And so I'm sure there were a lot of people that were like, well, why would I pay for it when I'm never going to benefit? And it's like, right. yes, but you're investing in your children's future. So it kind of ain't right a little bit. Another person I interviewed mentioned that, and mm -hmm. they said that there was only like a 14% uh, like voter turnout. Uh -huh. Yeah. Was that the only thing that was yeah. on the ballot? Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't they do it for a time where... Because they didn't want it to pass. Why wouldn't they want it to pass? Because they don't, like, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, like, I, it's like, why, you know, like, I know Marta's not perfect, but damn, let's do something, you know, let's try to get out of our cars, let's try to, you know, be driven around a little bit, so, but that's most likely why. Like, I'm sure the people who wanted to have the vote go were trying to fight to get it on November's election, because it was in March or something. Yeah, it seemed like a, an yeah. odd time. Like they didn't do it in November, right? When they, sh you know, when so everybody's going to be out voting. Yep. So that's probably why it failed, or there was such a low turnout. Yeah, I think that I think public transportation is just like never going to happen in yeah. Georgia because we weren't built that way, built for it the way and that other states. And so, like trying to do it is going like, like I get it. It's, it's harder to redo it. It's going to be difficult, but at the same time, you know, like we got to do something. And if we start paying for it now, then what do you care? You'll be dead in fifty years. But maybe you've built something, right? You know, for your kids or grandkids. Um, how important in your household is the environment? Um, we try to make it very, we, we're, uh, Dylan and I are trying to be very conscious about food waste. Um, he composts, he's better at that than me. Well, I'm good at it, he's better at emptying the bucket. Um, but Walker's great at it too, because I'm going to kick that outside. Uh, we recycle, uh, we recycle everything that we can. Um, we try not to throw anything away. We try to, you know, if it's not something we're going to use anymore, we try to give it away, you know, give it to Goodwill or something. So, we're not perfect, but... 
you know, I leave the air. For your interest in solar, is your in, um, passion or your interest in the environment more important than increasing the value of your home? Or like what, how does the breakdown of it, um, your interest in it go? The interest would be the environment and honestly um, setting the example for the kids. Like honestly, that's very important to me. Like showing them that like, I care, I'm trying, yeah. you should too. Um, and those take precedent over the value of the house. Yeah. Because you know, I mean like a value of a house is going to change, you know, like. There was a crash ten years ago, so you know, like right. my house was under I was underwater until like four years ago, you know, and I'm now over water and that doesn't mean it won't happen again. So like I'm not too worried about the value of the house. You know. when, the, I, when I sell it I will have lived there for twenty years, so even if I sell it at like what I bought it for, I mean I used it. Right. <laughs> you know, it's not like I need to make money off of it. Right. So the environment and setting the example is more important to me. Okie dokie. Well, do you have any other comments or questions? No, is this, or is this like for somebody who's trying to start a company? No, this is a, I'll, I'll let you read over the information, but this is a um, study at UGA mm -hmm. and it's department. It's funded by the Depart the U.S. Department of Energy. Oh, cool. So they're going to take this research and do, hopefully, hopefully, maybe their I don't know what their intentions right. are. With Either it, they're going to say, "See, nobody cares," or they'll just get some sort of better understanding yeah. of how to market it. Yeah. Or I, I have no idea. Hopefully, it'll better market it. Yeah. <laughs>